In this video I want to do a quick review of GoodSync. Now this is a backup program that's created by the same people that created RoboForm and um, I was looking for a backup program because I had a, a, a laptop failure. Windows 8 decided to go belly up on me and I realized I hadn't really taken a backup or at least not a, a recent one. And the system I had in place was quite difficult and it time consuming and uh, it just was such a hassle that I never got around to doing a full backup. Anyway, long story short, I didn't actually lose any data because of the way Windows 8 works, but I decided I wanted to keep a more secure backup. And I had a look around a number of different programs and this one, GoodSync, is quite cheap and does a pretty good job for what I want. It's actually one of two programs that I use and I'll do a video of the other program at another time. But I wanted to show you how this one works. Um, essentially, it can back up to external hard drives, it can back up to FTP, it can back up to other computers, it can back up to Amazon S3, um, to Google Docs and all sorts of other places, Dropbox if you like. Uh, and I'm going to show you how, to, how you use it. And to do that, I'm going to set up, you can see I've got three backup jobs here, and these are the ones I run um, periodically. I actually run them manually, but you can set it up to run automatically so that when changes are detected, it will automatically back back up the uh, the files but I as I said I choose to do it manually and I do it once at the end of every day or every couple of days or so on so let's just for demonstration purposes let's create a new job click on the plus button and I'm going to just back up a relatively small folder and it will be my newsletters that I send out to, uh, to, to on one of my websites now You've got two options, synchronize or backup. Synchronize is a two-way communication. If, you know, you've got your source drive, you've got your destination drive, and basically a synchronize will look for the newer versions on, on each drive and sync with the other one so that you've got um, exact matches of, of the latest files on both drives. Um, backup is a one-way job where you have a source drive and those files are sent over to a destination drive. Now, there's lots and lots of different options as well, but I'm not going to go through all of that. I just want to show you the basics. I'm going to choose backup. And once you've done that, you're just left with the normal screen. But you see I've got this tab now for the job. And what we need to do is specify the source and the destination folders. So let's just browse the, this source for a moment. And this is the left folder, in other words, the one it's coming from. And it will go over to the right folder when we come to, to analyze that. You've got all these different options. So if you've got SkyDrive space or Dropbox or um, Amazon S3 or you've got a server that you want to FTP the information to you can do that you can also this good sync connect allows you to connect two computers and um, it does it in a fast way I haven't tried it so I, I don't know how good it is but it does it relatively quickly it will back up your fault your files to a second computer so if you have a backup computer that you use if your first one goes down then you, know, you could have those files automatically sent over there I'm going to choose for my left folder I'm going to choose a folder on my um, hard drive, I'm going to go to documents, let's have a look for my newsletters. So I'm going to just select that as the source. And I'm going to click on browse and for the destination I want to pick, uh, I've got this my passport and I'm going to just click on OK, click on OK. Now I've now set up the job and the first thing you need to do is click the analyze button and what it will do is it will have a look at the source files it will have a look at the destination files and it will look for any updates. Now because this is the first time I've done this, it should find all of the files in the destination need to move over to my backup drive. And so that's what it's doing right now. So I'm just going to pause the video for a second while it finishes. Okay, to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a new job. And here we have a box to put in the details of that job. I'm going to just back up um, a folder on my hard drive where I've got some newsletters and so I'm going to call the job name newsletters and you've got two choices synchronize or backup synchronize is a two-way um, movement of files you've got the source file and you've got the destination file and with synchronize it checks the, the, the timestamps and file sizes on both sides and it will synchronize them so that both of, both of the, uh, the the computers have the latest versions of everything the, the one I want is backup. I want to. I've got my source file, which is my my laptop, and I want to send them to my external backup drive. It's a one-way thing. I don't want anything coming the other direction. So I'm just doing a simple backup. And once we've done that, we're we're brought back to this screen where we can choose the destination and the uh, source 
folders. Over here on the left, this is the source. Over here on the right, this is the destination. So this is where we're taking them from. And when you click on the Browse button, you can see all the options you've got. You can actually um, back up from a lot of a lot of cloud services as well. I want to back up from a folder inside my documents called my newsletters, which is here. And I want to back up to this is the right side. Um, now this is where this uh, cloud services may come in more useful. I could back up through FTP to a server, I could back up to Amazon S3, to Google Drive, to SkyDrive, to Dropbox, to any of these services I could back up these files. Uh, I'm going to choose my passport here and I've got a folder here which is empty which I created called my newsletters just so that the source um, the source drive and the destination drive have the same folder name. I call that my newsletters. Okay so here you can see it's backing up from documents my newsletters to my Passport, hard drive, my newsletters. And all I need to do is click the Analyze button and it will check to see what it needs to do. And you can see here, these arrows to the right means that all of these have to be moved across to the right. And there's 548 of them. So all I need to do now to move those across is click the Sync button. And you can follow the progress here. There's numbers moving down. That's it, that's done. So all of those now are over on my backup drive, which let's just pull this across. This is my backup drive. There's all the files being moved across. Okay, let's see how good this backup program is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open, oops, that's on my backup. I don't want to open it on there. What I want to do is I want to open it on my local drive. Let's go to, just bear with me a minute. Okay, I found it. This is on my C drive my newsletters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open, let's open 247, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small change. Let's say I'm going to add in another one of those there and another one of those there, and then save it. Okay, let's create a new file as well, and I'm going to call this the correct folder it's on my laptop so I'm saving this file to my laptop I'll call this test okay so what I've done there is I've made a small change to one file that's in the um, the newsletters folder on my laptop and I've also created a file a file called test.txt okay now let's clear this and let's see how good the program is. Let's analyze. There we go. It's found the change to 247 and test. And I didn't pause the video there. That, that was the speed at which it took. Uh, and all I need to do is click on the sync and it will then send those two across, which is done. So that's good sync. As I said, you've got options here where you can choose to automatically run the jobs or as I do, you can just have it that you do it manually, you do it once at the end of the day or whatever. And there's various other options that I'm not going to go into. But overall, the speed of it, it's, it's been the fastest one that I've tried. And it finds everything, as you've just seen there. Even the small change to a file it found because of the file size change and the date stamp. Okay, so um, I highly re recommend it. Good sync.